Gish Gallop. Um, Gish Gallop is a rhetorical technique in which a person in a debate attempts to overwhelm the opponent by providing an excessive number of arguments with no regard for the accuracy or strength of those arguments. Gish Galloping prioritizes the quantity of the Galloper's arguments at the expense of their quality. The term was coined in 1995. Anthropologist Eugene Scott, who named it after American creationist Dwayne Gish, and argued that Gish used the technique frequently when challenging the scientific fact of evolution. Now, here's the thing I know this one person. And I love it when uh, I've experienced like maybe I know 100 to 200 people in my life, and out of those, uh, those, of those 100 to 200 people, um, three or four do sort of uh, they interrupt me like constantly, like interrupting, 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 and then you say fuck it, do your monologue. Fuck off, I don't want to talk with you. And when they're not talking, like some of them, I think a high percentage of them also use this gish galloping. Like when they're in their rent and like blah 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 blah. And then they are do the gish galloping. And it's finally nice to see this you know, rhetoric, what they're doing to you when you experience this gish galloping. And I know. I'm not the only person in the world, and I know there are other people, therefore I know a lot of people will probably have experienced the same thing as me. Therefore, now we can address this issue. Uh, the main thing is like, the funny thing, I just is, uh, I just typed into this gish galloping, I don't know even how I found it. Uh, I think like some argumentative su suggestion video on YouTube wh wh why it's bad and how you stop and whatnot. The main point is uh, never, mm, you should never like make a deal with terrorists, you know? And this is the same issue when somebody is so fucking focused on winning at every fucking point, just cutting you uh, in every sentence, not never ever letting you speak then maybe it's for the best if you let this person like talk it out this is just the um, first thing I wanted to mention um, the other thing is like at this discourse with the same person or maybe a different person who knows and um, what was it like uh, the person called me Reality avoidant. I don't know how to tr translate this. Give me a second. Oh, there we have it. Unrealistic. Out of touch with reality. Out of, yeah, out of touch with reality. And then I say, like, there is so much shit going on here and there and everywhere. Why the fuck should I participate? Not only did, like, society shut me out of this stuff but it's also hard to get into all this trouble and nonsense and uh, yeah there is like uh, what is it am I able should we try this should we try this while I'm recording um, let's see Maybe I'm able to share this particular bit when, uh, oh, what was it? Yeah, that's the one. Now let's see, you guys have to do of my <laughs> recording while I try to add the screen right here. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. But that's not the one I wanted to show. First one you have like it's also tiresome, you know? This is what it feels like. 
after all those glitches. <laughs> I didn't expect it would go there, <laughs> yeah, but first of all we have this and then we have of course um, that, yeah, tired of earth, these people, I'm tired of being caught in the tang of their life, <laughs> this is all the shit, yeah. and uh, yeah, it's not just that, this is, um, yeah, wait, like this oh yeah perfect now give me a second sorry I really had to fall like super long. Bad. okay now where well we, we were at the discussion points so you go away and uh, I just wanted to see what other discussion points I had what is sort of Rambly. Yeah. Oh. yeah. One friend of mine, uh, sort of, so, sort of, kind of friend. Yeah. Um, I somewhat visited him on a regular basis. He got like fed up. He had like some sort of uh, connection issue, uh, and I tried to fix it. Uh, he was like, "Yeah, no, you know." This is the issue, and this is where the internet comes out. And I said, like, there are like seven steps where this could go wrong, you know? Maybe we should try it from the basics. Like, uh, maybe we first try out to get internet. And he said, like, no, no, I did all that. We don't need to. I said, can I just, no, we don't, we don't need to do this. We don't need to do this. And I said, okay, okay, the thing is just, I don't trust nobody. I don't need to trust myself, you know. I'm not trusting myself with not trusting myself. And he took this sort of personal. <laughs> and like, Neh. And I thought like, was this a little bit cruel of me? And then I thought like, nah, this guy has like thicker skin. He won't be mad at this. Turns out... He was boiling point, you know, he, he was almost at the boiling point, but he was hiding it under this facade. And then it turns out like, nah, man, you're just, uh, it comes off like you're, you're vain, Merlin, you know, you're, you're way too vain. You're like, you know, you're a know-it-all. And uh, this is funny. On a normal basis, my status quo is the status quo is um, fearing and dreading constantly that something will go wrong, or I will I get a letter from the government saying like you have to pay one million because fuck it, if you we we are the government. What what you want to do, you know? Like basically the government in every country. <laughs> this is like very scary if you think about it. They just come the walls into your flat. And I say, this is now our base where we operate for military purpose. Fuck off, be a homeless piece of shit, die on the streets. And people are like, nah, man, this would never happen. They wouldn't do this. You have rights, man. Yeah, sure, sure. Try this stuff, man. But in the end, this is like, uh, you're just a simple civilian. You know, they have military force, they have police force, they have militia. If they, you know, you have to think about this. And I'm not like for the second amendment shit like you need guns to protect yourself from the government but it's it's a little bit more complicated than that it's, it's not just like this it's just i think people are very vulner vulnerable you know people can easily like break you can break a human being like very easily than that or suffering or somewhat disabled you know mental anguish torturous mind scenario like always somewhat half dead and people think that they're like pretty too certain to you know to uh, too secure about themselves and i think you should consider like uh what if you know there's there's the universe there are like big meteorites and basically a meteorite could hit you any at any time 
and that's it you know that's it while i'm talking in the middle of the sentence we're all dead and i'm not trying to invoke more fear but uh, i think it's helpful to keep this in mind uh, like uh, we're all just nothing we're basically nothing if you think about it how teeny tiny and small we know planet earth is and uh, i mean because we we're experiencing this from the ego perspective from uh, POV, we think like, oh, our, our lives are so very important and we are the center of the universe. But in the end, uh, we can break easily, we need resources, we have a finite amount of these resources, we fuck up the planet, you know, we're busy with doing petty shit, being busy with like intoxicating us, sleeping badly, binge watching shit, doom scrolling, um, blabber mouthing, bad talking about people's backs, you know, and all this stuff, this is like, this is the quality of life we're experiencing, you know, this is like the high times, these are the good times, you know, um, these are the salad days, you know, so to, so to speak, like Spandau Ballet uh, once said it in the intro song, so you have to consider that uh, these are the good times and some times the good times end and change and you don't know what come what what will come from this and uh, yeah back to the the friend with uh, being a petty little bitch like uh, I said like you know you, you sort of got like sent up his uh, inner female crotch working parts with JJ you know and uh, it's kind of funny this is like out of all, out of all the scenarios, when you when you meet a new person and you visit them on a regular basis, and this comes up, and you think like, holy shit, man. like <laughs> I would never think this would break up because of this. But in general, I see a repeating pattern. And it's not just. Sometimes I'm also a petty bitch. I can also be bitchy. But uh, yeah, at the end of the day, I recognize. That I was bitchy and then I move on. But some people are stuck at that stage. Like now I have to be bitchy because I have to be bitchy because I, there was a reason. Because I was for no logical reason mad, and now I have to progress with this status. I can't just change to a logical status. I have to, you know, narrow down my anger, be unreasonably ang angry at the people. And yeah, it's kind of funny. Said. But yeah, fuck it. Anyway, um, there was this thing. Yeah, I I did a sort of tutorial thingy. Uh, how I flashed uh, or installed Linux Linux OS on my Pixel 6. But the thing is, uh, I just wanted to say, um, fuck you, Windows, uh, for fucking up all this device manager stuff. I mean, I get it, there are like a lot of vulnerabilities and attacks they had to prevent, but the issue workaround for this is also not cool, not helping you in any sort of way. It's like, for somebody who uses Windows quite long, pretty, pretty long, I know, I know there is documentation out there, I know I can read about this, but this, this, all, all this stuff, you know, all these manuals, they feel like big corporate talk. You know, you should consider following steps to avoid the issue of troubleshooting, blah blah blah. And uh, it doesn't help. It doesn't help at all that it's this big corp corpo speak. And oh yeah, and when we come to this galop, gamesh, gamesh galop kind of thing, and what was it? Voice fry. Uh, I read about this the other day, and I sort of knew what it was. And. Uh, I didn't know, I think I'm doing this also. I think a lot of people do this by accident. But some people can't stand it, and some people prefer it. It's very interesting. And uh, yeah, it's basically lowering the voice and sounding crappy like bacon, sizzling, fried bacon in the pan. Yeah, no, I can't stop it. But um, yeah, just wanted to mention also this. And we have this fuck you Windows crap. With Linux, I had some be better results, but Linux has its own fuck ups. And the funny thing is, 
you know how Google results get worse and worse and worse. I was just typing for the fuck of it, I was just typing like uh, Linux, Lin Linux good and Windows bad. The first result was like, no, 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 my person, um, what is it, 150 page free PDF, a small book displaying how bad Windows in is. And this was like two rows, Windows bad, Windows bad, Windows bad. It was like 10 points, Windows is bad, you know, and 10 points, Linux is good and good and good and good. And this was like, wow. I mean, be more subtle about your propaganda, about your shilling, man. This is like, if you're doing a scam site, and I, I think it's amazing, you know, to look at the scam site, and visually, it's pretty appealing. It's a, it's a nice website, but it's too good. That's the funny thing, you know. The, it's also a modern layout, and you'd say, okay, it looks like a modern website, but then you scroll, in, in most cases, you have, like, you scroll down, blah, 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 I'm not chilling you shit, Windows is really bad, or I'm not chilling you this, the big pharma is trying to make you fat and poisoning you, that's why you have to buy my magical pills, my snake oil. And then you go down, and then there is a 5, 3, 5, 10, 20 minute video on YouTube most of the time, or embedded in the web page itself. There is like this guy explaining like, uh, yeah, health, blah blah blah, big government is behind me, it's a big conspiracy, but I'm fighting against the man, you know, I'm fighting against the man, buy my pills. And you buy these off-label white drugs, or what, white-label, off-label off drugs, you know, with vitamin, whatever shit. And then you scroll down and you see these perfectly written comments, like, extremely perfectly written, and you see happy people, it's, it's very, it's very obvious, this is very interesting. I mean, this is what fucks me up. This fucks me up the most. Some scams are extremely shitty made, you know? You can smell or see or reek the scam from miles away, you know, because it's so bad. Uh, hello dear, I'm a rich prince, you just have to transfer me money, or some rich Russian woman contacting you, or every scam in the book, you know? You have like typos, it switches between German and English in my case. Various U, E, U umlauts are missing or written differently or in a completely dif different language. Maybe from it's not just African scam, but it may, might be Asian scam as well. Maybe from China, you know, and then they contact you via spam mails. And either it's extremely poorly written. You know, and you can spot it immediately. You also see the URL has like <laughs> maybe the URL is like super fucking long. You know, if I, if I read like this and then ah, oh, here we get the good stuff. You know, ah, oh, very serious. Okay, immediate response. I will send you all my money, man. I will send you all my bitcoins. That's for sure. Tell me which bit miner, Bitcoin or crypto miners I have to install. I will install all of them. You know, tell me how I can dox myself optimally for you. Which, which spyware, which bloatware do I have to install, you know? This is like the one side, and on the other side, like these scam pills, like I told you, they're like super perfectly well made, like super extremely good. You have like stock images of happy people, but, but, but without the watermark, you know? Happy families standing in a profile picture, happy guys, happy girls, I don't know, whatever, you know? Happy customers, and perfectly written comments, and I don't get it, man. In my whole lifetime, you know, I've been experiencing the internet since 18 years. I'm 32 years old, 18 years. So this means uh, 14 years. I had like 14 years in my life where I didn't experience the internet, you know, where I had no access to the internet. And this whole time, I never, I solemnly swear, you know, I pledge allegiance to the blah blah blah. You know, um, I never saw like somewhat, you know, somewhat sketchy, half serious, you know, half professional, half professional, half fucked up scam. You think it was either super poorly written and super poorly coded and performed, or way too good. I never had like the middle ground. I don't get it, man. Like, sort of. The, the art form for perfect scammers, not that I'm into this sort of stuff, but it's interesting from a psychology standpoint, you know? 
uh, is like to bring in typos, but this has to be like subtle typos. This is like when you're cheating for a test, you know, you have all, let's say you have to write a test and you have all the answers, you somehow were able to get them. And uh, it would be too obvious, obvious if you like, you know, did everything by the book, you have it memorized by heart, and then you do like 100% of it. Therefore you make it like 70-80%, so you know, it's more plausible. And uh, in scams you never see this man, you never see this. I mean, sometimes when you, when you get a call and they do like, blah blah blah, Microsoft support, or sir, we have like an insurance issue, we need you to talk. But in general, also call centers, this is very easy in Germany to spot a scam. 99.999% of these scams. You just look at the phone number, you know, Germany is plus four nine. And when, it, when I see plus, and it doesn't start with four, <coughs> scam, if it's four, and it continues with another number, except of nine, <coughs> scam, you know. And I get a lot of scam calls from England and Austria. Sometimes also from Eastern countries, very rarely also from the US. But uh, yeah, it's, it's sort of lucrative to scam and spam and call people, but like ripping them off in, when they're from England or Austria? I don't get it, man. And. Uh, this is also the part where I say, fuck you German government and fuck you Austrian and English government because like uh, there should be sort of laws and I know there are laws but there are like, I feel like a lot of these laws, they're, they require the minimum to perform like, you know, and the minimum requirements are met so that scammers won't rip off the whole fucking country. So like... Now, a lot of people fall for these scams, but the, you know, the government said, like, we did our part, you know? It's like, um, you have to write the essay, and you get a, what is it, D minus. And the government says, like, the minimum requirement to pass this motherfucking class is D minus. I got, I gave you a D minus, and now fuck off, yeah? And then you say to the government, you know, you could improve, you know, the, in theory, the goal is to reach an A, or A plus, or whatnot. Not this shitty D minus you're fucking um, riding on year after year after year. The government is like, nah. The the thing is, if we if we give you a, a C or a B, then you're unhappy when you give you a, a, a D again. So we stay the fuck up, you know. We we stay fucked up, and you keep on being somewhat unhappy, but happy enough that you just well, like lynching lynching mob, you know. Barely on the minimum, barely on the minimum that people won't flood out of their houses and kill the rich, eat the rich, you know, and eat, eat all politicians. And this is some, yeah, this is just some, some sort of ramblings that I had to get, get out of my system, flush out of my system. Let's see, yeah, break up with, and uh, yeah, also in regards to that, also fuck Google. And fuck Xiaomi and fuck no that's it so far you know these are the companies that I'm com companies <laughs> um, companies that I'm annoyed at the moment but there will be more of course um, then when I have well, with um with another woman girl I don't know the context holy shit I don't know if it's girl feels off and woman feels also an, another person another individual I was writing sort of and the other individual was like Merlin you're pretty communicative and said like nah it's just my surroundings who don't talk at all uh, what I experience a lot is when I chat in the chat room like catfishing or just trolling you know um, I mean you can't you can't have like deeper discussions with a lot of people and I don't try because like I know I am trash I know other people are trash we are all trash and retarded we have to accept this but you can't no that's not right it's right you know that I'm right you know that I'm always right <laughs> no no just kidding and um, what was it yeah and the person I was chatting with 
that with like Marilyn, you're way too communicative, like you have a feminine spot, like, like, what the f and I thought like, it's, it's just way too basic, you know, this is, I can't, I can't see the world like this, like, you have feminine, you have masculine, you have like, the wall is white, I don't know, is it feminine, is masculine, and you have black, this is feminine, mas let's say black is masculine, and white is feminine, you know, and then it's, too big a contrast. For me personally, it's just like, I, I see myself more like a jester, you know, like somebody who talks trash, more for his own amusement, you know, it's the best thing like, uh, if you tell jokes only for yourself, so everybody's like, huh, what the fuck is it, are you talking, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, you know, this is to just some extent like, you should never do this, but mainly keep yourself entertained, because other people are busy with being pissed either way if you say anything or don't say anything neither, neither way they will be happy and that's why I see myself more like a jester you know? and it's a world full of clowns this is what I come to terms with you know? everyone is doing like clown studies and I'm busy with being a jester and maybe it's these periodical differences because I'm an old school, you know, an old school clown. That's why I'm not compatible with certain aspects of the smaller life in regards to this. And the best part is when you're aware. The most, the most important thing is that you are aware that you are a clown or a jester. You know? Otherwise, uh, you uh, you will have a bad time. That's what's so. Uh, yeah. So this one, let's just erase it. You guys have to experience this, how I delete this from the list. Of course, I could edit the video, but this would mean uh, I would put like 1% effort in the video. And as we know, I don't, I, I just can't do it. Um, I experienced a very funny thing the other day. And this happened like the second or third time now. I don't, I don't know if it gets funnier or sadder every time that I'm experiencing it. There's like one person, you know, and this one person is calling the other person, but not on purpose. The one person calling the other person had a smartphone on a pocket and dialed by accident the other person's number. And now the other person is like, hello, 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 I can't hear, hello, hello, why is it not working? Merlin, why is it not working? And I'm saying like, think about this situation, the person is not responding, now they're up two or three options. One option is you hang up, the other option is you do like hello, 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 hello. <laughs> and the third option is like, I don't know, uh, just say nothing and keep holding on the line. And the funny thing is like, both parties are not aware, you know, like the one party is not aware that's calling the other party, and the other party is not aware that the one party is not listening by accident calling and this is like this is what I oh yeah perfect now I can make a point I didn't even know I was trying to make a point to my statement before this is what I'm telling you with the clown school you know you're doing a comedy bit and you're you're not aware yet that you're part of the comedy bit but be, uh, sooner or later you will find out ah this is the funny ruse this is the funny bit this is where the crowd laughs where the laugh track kicks in and yeah I experienced this two times and I said like Think about the situation, you know, like, breathe in, breathe out, and uh, perception-wise, think about this whole scenario, what is happening right now, and then, and then the person said, ah, oh, the person's not responding, and then I said to this person, remember this happened before, ah, oh, yeah, that was <laughs> but this went on for like five or ten minutes, you know, the first couple minutes, it's funny, but then... Jesus, man, <laughs> you have to intervene. Well, otherwise it just becomes sad. Um, yeah, then uh, there is some something that I thought about, like uh, me and the government, we're not the best friends. I mean, this is a somewhat okay government, could be better, could be worse. But because of my history with, uh, let's let's be honest here, well, I should just pack it out all all out there was like times where I consumed drugs you know and this point is beyond me but the interesting part of this is 
There are people out there, I know people who take drugs on a constant basis and they never get busted. And then there are people like me, I mean, I had my fair share of drugs in the past, but it was not very much, it was not solidly either, either. but the point is, um, I'm trying to make is the few times that I did it, uh, I got busted, you know? And I get fucked like really hard for this. Not not soup. There was, you know, there's still an upper echelon where I could get fucked even more. Like fisted twice, you know, if like both fists into my anus, and I would prolapse the rest of my life and would need diapers. You know the meme. But uh, this was like only only two fingers, like brute force into my rectum. You no. Know? Okay, back to this thing. And uh, I think like I have the basic law ready. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you think stupid stuff, and the government acts in a stupid way. And if you combine one stupid thought with another stupid do- a thought, you get like a stupid, a stupid retarded baby thought kind of thing, you know. And the funny thing would be unemployment money, <laughs> you know, and. Uh, what is it? Uh, let me let me think. I don't have to work right now. Uh, yeah, in Germany, at least you have sort of the the option, the possibility to to get like an early retirement money, you know. And <laughs> here's the funny bit. Here's the very funny bit. Yeah, um, in other countries, I know this exists as, as well. Now, because I get busted because of the drugs. I could pretend that that I uh, have like everlasting issues, you know, health issues, mentally and physically. Like, <laughs> okay, just a joke, chill, chill, chill just a joke. But um, the thing is, if you if you continue using the joke, if you just pretend that you're disabled, you know, this is not very morally right, I know, but I mean. I did one half, the government did the other half. The government is very easy at like, you took drugs, therefore you are mentally retarded. Maybe you will never ever function properly, you know. You're mentally, you need a special school, a special working place, you need like special help, rehabilitation, you need all this stuff because like you injected one marijuana, you know. <laughs> and um, this is, um, where, where do we have it? Yeah, we have it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, Marcus was a student council president, most popular girl, until his hippie classmates forced him to inject one mar- marriage one. <laughs> I, I, I can't pr- pronounce this fucking word, you yeah. know? And before, after, you know? This is what, ha- what happens if you smoke pot, then, uh, First was vaccination, and then, yeah, pot, weed. And this is, uh, this is, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and this is where the fun ends, because government is, like, serious. They're all, like, serious, like, yeah, yeah, this seems legit, yeah. We have a couple of doctors saying this is also legit. I mean, they're doctors. And when they... F- They are fueling you, you know, with this sort of energy, this wild chaos, stupid energy, and you, I mean, it's, it's there for the taking. I could say like, yeah, I have like, um, schizoidic episodes and depressive, manic depressive episodes and I'm hearing voices and whatnot. And yeah, I know the consequences will be, not a straitjacket, but maybe they put me on the medication. So I do these voices stop. Then here's is the balancing act because you have to pretend like um, oh, the voices are pretty strong. In the meantime, you're filling out the, the papers. You know, like uh, uh, yeah, early retirement money because I'm disabled. And then you get like the okay, you know, because it's very easy in Germany. I don't know in other countries. 
to get like uh, the stamp like you're not fully working anymore in this regard but the moment you have it you know getting out of there to get like let's say you need a car loan okay very weird example and for this car loan you need to pr prove that you're not disabled let's say okay this is the case for whatever reason I don't have a bad example right now then it's pretty hard to get from being disabled to being not disabled you know? but because of this drug thing it's perfect you know a lot of countries are still mentally in 1940s when it comes to drugs like drug is bad because drug is bad you know this is the argument you have point A it's bad because it's bad point B with this argument you basically won everyone you know you've got your cards you just gotta play them right because of my drug use I've developed various mental issues and they're not repairable the moment you get your uh, meat box this moment on you can say ah okay the voices are going the, it's very doctor it's pretty weird you know the moment I got the approval you know for my early retirement unemployment money the moment I got the okay I was sort of healed you know and you have to <laughs> Keep a straight poker face while doing this like I, I don't think I need any treatment, you know? It's it's very weird. But I I'll keep you in my address book if if the if the voices return, okay man? <laughs> and the doctor is like, yeah sure man. And it's a balancing act, you know? Play sick, so sick that you get the okay, the, the approval papers, but don't play way too sick, like I think this is also like you have to study sort of um, the, the, the laws in, in this country. I mean, in other countries it might be also problematic, especially when you say like, I have an inner hate and, and I want to project it or I want to murder somebody. This is like absolute no good. You have to, you know, like also not suicidal stuff this is also no go red flag but yeah voices i think is a good start i'm i'm not tr i'm not trying to tell you you know like do this shit i'm just saying um they're giving you the fuel you know and why not use it this is this is free advice from me to you i mean yeah and this is also what what made me ponder something like person a and person b one person i know didn't work very much and the other person worked like his whole life and their life quality stuff sort of at the same amount they're getting the retirement money and their the retirement money and both live somewhat on the same level but the other person like 30 years or something eight hours a day monday till friday morning shifts, late shifts, night shifts, bad paid companies, minimum wage not fulfilled and all the stuff and then you look at this and you say this isn't motivating me to go to work, you know this, right? I mean, you're like, uh, you're putting down the worker and if you put down the worker, the worker says, how about I don't become a worker or stay a worker and uh, by accident I'm a non-worker you know I'm pursuing my own work so to speak and this might manifest for some people to watch television 16 hours a day not for me <laughs> I have my own things but yeah that's the thing and uh, that's all I'm saying man like if you want like a lot of workers how about this is such a crazy idea I know this is so fucking crazy how about you fucking pay your workers you know like a good amount and then they're happy and motivated also I know cash is not everything but this is always the excuse you know it's always shitty job X and then people say yeah I'm doing it because I'm passionate about it bullshit they indoctrinated you that you love the shit because when you quit there might be issues here and there and uh, this is also, it's funny, when you're unemployed you also tend to spend less and the art is sort of like, when you're unemployed, uh, to, to be employed, 
to work like a normal 40 hours per week and to live like a beggar you know and if you can manage this this perfect balance as well you know hand in hand then you're uh, you've made it sort of yeah but reaching this spot is like pretty difficult because especially like today I have to do some uh, shift changing and that's why I'm still awake and uh, that's why I ordered some fast food for me because like living a decadent lifestyle because I can because I work for this but this is don't do this too often like here and there treat yourself a little bit like the princess queen you are you know? but don't overdo it and if you manage this save up for bad times and you should be good to go but still how about fucking paying people like paying people a proper amount and then they want to do work you know you can still improve the work because in every in every job here and there that I see there is like always always there is oh this is wrong because it was always wrong and it will be wrong I say like could it not be fixed yeah <laughs> yes and no and then everyone is like this sort of gray in this gray area of I don't care enough to really change it, to contact the proper people, but I care so much that it almost angers me and just puts me down a little. And at some point you just blend it out. And yeah, that is that is it. My my short 41 minutes and 30 seconds rant. Bye bye.